I may not be able to get off the planet, but I can certainly send you off. That'll show you, you little jerks. Little jerks. Oh my gosh, they're all coming for me at once. Well, I'm back in the wonderful, wonderful world of Subnautica. And I believe that I am ready to go to the Aurora. I've got really only the basic essentials, some spare batteries for whenever I run out of power on some of my other things. I think it'd also probably be a good idea to, of course, get some food and water because I'm not really sure how long this will take. So I'll craft a couple cured Reginald so that I won't have to really worry about food. And then I'll bring along two filtered water from bladder fish. I think I've got about everything. I've got both the propulsion and repulsion cannon, batteries, the tools, the stasis rifle if big guy gets out of hand. And then I got, I know there's quite a bit of items to get at the Aurora. So I also decided to craft a storage module rather than the hull reinforcement because I didn't really notice that it had much improvement. The sonar and the perimeter defense system for when Reapers attack. But with that, I think I should be ready to go. I got the radiation suit on as well, so I should be good. But it's nighttime right now, so I think I'm just gonna wait up here until it becomes daytime, and then I'm going to go over there and face the Dangers that lurk right about up there. Now that it has become daytime, I suppose that it's finally time to take on the challenge and go ahead to the Aurora, even with the Leviathan friends lurking about but i think that i'm pretty prepared my inventory is maybe a little bit more full than it should be getting kind of close here i'm gonna make sure i'm at max and now i'm officially in the crash zone Oh, this makes me nervous. This makes me nervous. But I have the perimeter defense in case anything goes wrong. There is likely going to be a big old fish waiting for me at the front of the ship. Speaking of which, there's life pod four up there. I'm not, I'm not going to it. It's not worth it. I hear the reaper, but I don't see it. There it is, right there. You can see it off in the distance. There's the Reaper right there. I think that that's the most dangerous creature in this game. I want to position myself to where... Oh wait, I don't need to be doing that. Now I can throw them around like the little scum that they are. I may not be able to get off the planet, but I can certainly send you off Get out of here and get lost. This place is crawling. Look at them. Look at all of them. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. So that means they... Cast it into the fire! Destroy it! Cast them into the fire. That means that they ate all my 
all my good friends, unfortunately. Bye. I just really need to find a fire extinguisher because I think there's portions of this you can't get through with that one. Here's, here's a fire extinguisher. I don't know if I even needed all the all the med kits I got, all the first aid kits I got because I found I found so many of them. Administration or cargo bay three. I think we'll go. We'll start with the right. Oh, jeez. Integrating new PDA data. And here we can kind of get we can get things like posters and. that and we can kind of get some backstory about the Aurora as well so now it's off to cargo bay 3 and this is where the the propulsion cannon is most important because I don't think that you can just parkour over all this. You've got to actually blast it out of the way. This is the cargo bay, so one, four, five, four. Oh, there's a piece of the Cyclops engine. That is, that's what we're looking for right there. I hope that there'll be some more in here, but I kind of doubt it. Integrating new PDA data. This place is just absolutely decimated. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was... Oh gosh. There's coals falling down from the ceiling. I might have to... My first first aid kit. And I think that there's bleeders down in, in some water down here, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'll have to... Yep, there's one right there. That'll show him a thing or two. I know that bleeders are small and they're not intimidating, but they just, I mean, they look nasty, you know? I mean, they're just little, these little undesirable parasitic creatures. And there's a whole lot of them in the reactor room. little jerk. This is the Seamoth Bay. I already have a Seamoth, but I'll, I'll take some titanium if I can even afford to carry it. My inventory is already full. Unfortunately, I've already crafted that. I'm going to try not to miss absolutely anything because I really don't want to come back here and scan that. Actually, that nasty little creature. I think this is where the the reactor is down there. So I guess I'll go that way first, just so the radiation can kind of start the process of clearing up. Jeez. The 
try to sneak through here. Yep, here is the the big reactor. My inventory is also full. What is it prompting me to scan? Oh, a breach. Well, I don't know if I need to know about that, but let me start getting everything repaired here. And this water down here is absolutely infested with bleeders. See, you can see them there. So, I'm going to be quick to swap to my knife because I don't want... Oh, where do they go? Get gone. That'll show you, you little jerks. Little jerks. Oh my gosh, they're all coming for me at once. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you gotta kind of have your... Your guard up. I mean, they're no... They're no Reaper Leviathans by any means, but I mean, they're just... Ugh. They're just nasty. I get... I could just get sick looking at them, you know? They're like nastier than any parasite we'd have on Earth. And once we have all these repaired, we should be in just about ship shape. There's the bleeder off in the background. Here's the final one. That's a bit of an accomplishment. They're nasty. That one's already dead. I must be honest. I would kind of like to cast one of them into the fire. Destroy it! I'm afraid we'll just have to cremate them. Oh gosh, jeez, I thought I killed them all. Jeez. They're catching me off guard. I try to squeeze by here. How did I miss the PDA? Integrating new PDA data. I seem to have a bit of a tendency of just not being able to see the absolute obvious right in front of my face, you know. Prawn Bay and the locker room. Integrating new PDA data. This place is probably also infested with bleeders, I'd imagine. I actually appreciate how they've got so many resources here because I actually can't pick up everything. Is there one more PDA? Yeah, here. Integrating new PDA data. I like how all the batteries in this shot down ship just all happen to be fully charged. That's just wonderful. I think that these fires actually kind of come back over time. Here is the prawn room with the prawn fragments that are very difficult to reach. Definitely have to get all of these. Maybe a bit tricky just because everything is literally embedded in the fire. And I'm getting more radio messages. Can't you see I got my hands full here? Another another storage module. 
Oh, I just about jumped back in the fire. I gotta find one, one more. I can maybe creep up close to this one, but the fire. And I'd like to get it before the fire comes back and I get engulfed in flames. That'd be awfully nice. I know I say this a lot, but once you get over that titanium requirement, that really doesn't look too bad. I have to use that to get over. The living quarters are back there. I guess that's about everything. Although, before I move on from this section, I would like to make sure I'm not missing out on anything down here. I guess there's nothing down here except for a labyrinth to possibly drown in. That's always welcome, I suppose. Parkour! Getting up here one way or another. Like I'm doing, I prepared way too much for this in all actuality. I mean, I can't, I can't pick up anything. There's a, an alcoholic beverage on the ground. Let me, let me get through. I guess now I have an excuse to use a first aid kit and drink a filtered water so I can acquire more inventory space. My gosh, how much does this fire take to put out? It's still not out. You, you just can't put the fire out in this room. <laughs> That's... That water's got to be boiling in there because it's been in that fire for quite some time. Another first aid kit. I'm doing so well in first aid kits. I mean, I could literally just go out there with the reaper and I, I couldn't die. Now, here we go. We're getting some nice, beautiful fragments. Those are all, it's all the same bed. Now, I just need to dispose of something that I don't need. <laughs> Whatever could that be? I might get rid of a battery. How about that? What would be awfully handy would be to use, like have a, have a backpack or something. That'd be wonderful. Jeez. Oh gosh. What a difficult choice. And I, I cannot do this. I mean, I really don't need those, but they kind of add character to a base. You know, cabin five seems to be off limits, unfortunately. If I drop two of those, can I pick up that? I can pick up, I can take one of them. Can I put stuff in here and then carry it? Is that a thing? The bag is not empty, so you can't pick it up. If bags were like that, they, were, they would literally be unusable. This is cabin one, so. 1869. Integrate where is, where is this? Oh, a bookshelf. Can't leave without those. And then, of course, like, I mean, I gotta grab. I have to grab the toy. The most important thing to grab from the Aurora though is the miniature Aurora and the captain's quarters. And then, so there's these hats, these carry-ons, but in reality, I'm not much of a hat guy in real life, to be honest. I mean, they'd make a great decoration, but it's just not really something that you'd see sitting in a place where I'd be, really. But I have to get these posters. That is of the utmost essential. Now this is the Here's the captain's quarters, which I gave me the code of two, six, seven, nine. And there's two essential things. Let's see if you can spot them. Oh, I guess three. Three essential things. Let's see if you can spot them. It's not that, and it's not that. Oh, well, where could it be? There's number one right there. I mean, you gotta have that for your base. Here's number two for the rocket. Because we can't go anywhere without that bad boy. And then now I've got to make the tough choice of what to get rid of. 
Let's see. Who will not make the cut? Because, I mean, these things, they're more important than first aid kits. I mean, I think... I think these would be worth, you know, losing, like, half of my health for. So there's the... You'd really only need the propulsion cannon, not the repulsion cannon. So that's four slots in my inventory that are spent where they really would could be on something else now i'm gonna make sure that i got absolutely everything because i'm gonna try not to come back here the vending machine doesn't work anymore the biggest casualty of the aurora being shot down was now we can no longer get our mixed chips potato mix or snack we can't get any of them anymore what a shame. Really, any other place I went, it would be to collect items that I don't have any space for by any means. What happens if I take off my radiation helmet in the Aurora? I'm equipped it. Oh, yep. Problem isn't solved quite yet. There's still a problem. I need to be able to actually use the rebreather, which I can't do when there's radiation because then your head is exposed. Speaking of which, for all the fire and all the damage and the molten metal falling from above my head, the Aurora has to be literally the safest place inside the entire crash zone. Get lost. Get lost. Get gone. Cast it into the fire! Wait. Cast it into the fire! Destroy it! Is Sildor! Oh my gosh! Get in the fire! Jeez! I thought I was alone there for a moment. Um, where's a good fire for you to be set? Cast him into the fire! Jeez! They're just everywhere! Throw them all in the fire where they belong. Uh, this one's infected, so the only safe place for it would be in the fire. <laughs> they just bounced out of the fire. But if the Reaper Leviathan is down here, just waiting for me, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh gosh. Um, let's see. No. Go be reaper food. They're just all over the place. There's dead ones and alive ones. I've killed so many of them. Not that you should feel sorrowful on their behalf, as they ate many of the innocent people that may have not made it out of the Aurora in life pod. Here was the Cyclops piece I missed. Save me some resources for later on down the road. I guess I'll leave with that many batteries. If I got a whole bunch of them, then I really won't need to be crafting them anymore. All right, well, I think it's time to finally get out of here. Get up here. This part makes me so nervous because I don't know what's a real entity and what you can fall through type of deal. <laughs> I have to have a bit of a running start. And whenever there's giant reaper leviathans waiting at the bottom i really don't want to have a running start in that direction in which if anything goes wrong i end up down there with them okay well i think i've got everything but just for some but i suppose it's time to go back in the reaper infested waters all right Welcome aboard, Captain. let's see where is the there he is down there right there
Goodbye, old friends. You won't be missed. Oh, there he is right there. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Okay, he's turned the other way now. I thought he was had the little indication to give me give me a follow there. Oh. Even with the sonar, I mean, I have to get closer to them than I'd like. This is kind of a, a safe place, so I should be able to get some titanium to expand my base. It'd be great if there were, say, some Cyclops engine fragments. Those are actually behind the Aurora, where there are more reaper levitas oh my gosh reef back you have no idea how wonderful it is to see you i did not have a coffee vending machine yet i'm not much of a coffee person either but i suppose that it'll add more ambience but that was it that was the the aurora right there i went through i got everything that was valuable. I evaded a reaper attack in both coming and going. I was getting ready to jump down there and steal that stalker's whole life savings of metal salvage. But I can't because my inventory's full and my storage module's full. And there is the beautiful base. It's so wonderful to be back in one piece. To not have lost an arm to a reaper leviathan in the process of going to the aurora that was really i think a successful venture so i'm gonna go through and i'm going to sort all this on my own that's just probably not too exciting to watch but i think i got everything that was really of value the only things that i really didn't get i didn't get more carryalls there were more of those scattered about and i didn't pick up even one hat i mean that's just that's just not really me you know so i don't know how much i really need those things these things were kind of more so in my territory but i hope that you enjoyed the video we got the very dangerous aurora expedition out of the way so i guess in my next video I'll probably plan on maybe getting the final two fragments for the for the Cyclops engine and maybe even go so far as to construct the Cyclops because once I get the Cyclops I can just collect all kinds of things without having to run to and from the base all the time because there's actually storage there inside the Cyclops. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you for watching.